usually don't make these type of videos, but since uh, Season 6 Game of Thrones finally ended, uh, I saw this on my Twitter. It was like some Ultimate Game of Thrones-esque quiz thing. And uh, if you haven't watched Game of Thrones, you should probably uh, get a life because it's the best TV show you'll ever see in your entire life. So I'm gonna take this uh, quiz and see if I'm actually if I actually know this this show as much as I should because I've watched it since fuck ten years ago, however long it's been out. All right, which of the following is not a family in Game of Thrones? Okay, well I mean I'm not fucking stupid, so <laughs> just start out with the dub. The first episode of season one, who accidentally dis discovers Queen Cersei's secret? Okay, well, I mean, you got pushed out the goddamn window. Spo spoilers, by the way. If, I mean, this is gonna be this may be spoilers for like the first couple seasons, but I'm pretty sure if anybody watches this, they'll mostly be they mostly have already seen the show anyway. Who's Rob Stark's mother? No, that's his sister. That'd be weird. That's his sister. That'd be weird. Easy. See, they're starting off easy. Now I'm going for an easy 60 out of 60. Nothing big. What does Ty... I was going to say Tyrion. Okay. Tyrion murder his father with poison crossbow sword mace. Well, he can't even carry a sword or a mace, so... Who is known as the Kingslayer? No. That guy's a little bitch. Hell no. Easy. The Kingslayer. That's his uh, nickname in the show. I mean, if you watched it or read the books, you'd know. What murders Lady Walda and her child? Lady Walda was Bruce Bolton's mother or wife fish or whatever girl that carried his baby or whatever. And, uh, you know, Ramsay did some bad things to her. I'm just going to leave it at that. Who said this memorable line? You know nothing, Jon Snow. Oh, I love that line. Uh, you know. Redhead. Hey, Grit. Hey, Grit. What was Lord Peter Baelish? Baelish's role on the small counts. Council. Master of Coin. Yeah, that fucking, uh, what's it called? Brothel. He controlled the brothel and all the prostitutes. Uh, come on, next one. Well, let me get rid of this ad. Can I get rid of that? What is the name of the ancestral Stark sword that Ty Tywin oversees the forging of in the first episode? Ice. Nothing easier. Definitely not needle. That's Ants Raiders a person. Who said this memorable line? Give my regards to the Night's Watch. I'm sure it will be thrilling, and if it's not, it's only for life. Uh, uh Jora? No! I actually didn't know that one. Members of the Night's Watch swear an oath to duty. Oh yeah, that was when he uh visited he didn't visit the Night's Watch, but he was I think he was at the Starks like fucking house or compound or whatever, and then he said that before Jon Snow left or something. I think. I don't know why I clicked Jorah Mormont when he hasn't even been near the wall the entire series. I That was pretty fun. When did Daenerys receive the dragon eggs? They were a welcome gift after arriving at the city of Astapor in Slaver's Bay? No. They were a wedding gift? Yes. She found them the first? No, 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 no. They were a wedding gift. Come on. Come on. What am I, stupid? Come on. What is Sandor Clegane's nickname? Well, I mean, come on. That's my boy. The Hound. The Bastard of Bolton. What the fuck? Who said this memorable line? Wars are easier than daughters. It wasn't Ned Stark. It wasn't... It was, I think it was Tywin. It was Ned... St when did he say that? What? No way. This was season one. The Game of Thrones Ideas first meets Ned Stark when he executes a deserter from the Night's Watch in the first episode of season one. He makes a point by telling Bran that the man who was... Oh. I don't remember him saying anything about freaking daughters. I mean, episode one? You know how long ago that was? How am I supposed to remember that? 
Which of the following is not one of the three groups of the Night's Watch? Watchers, Rangers, Builders, Stewards. Stewards, yes. Builders? What? Ah! The Night's Watch consists of three groups. The Rangers who fight, defend the wall, and patrol the haunted... I said hounded. I said hounded. Patrol the haunted forest. The Builders who maintain the wall and the castles. Yeah, I should have known that. I thought maybe... I guess the Rangers are the one that watch. So, I don't know, whatever. That's dumb. How does Grey Worm become leader of the Unsullied? He is selected by his peers per Danny's instructions. I'm pretty sure it was that. Yeah, Grey Worm chooses to keep his name as is since he considers it to be lucky since it was the one he was when he set free. Okay. I never knew why he called himself fucking Grey Worm. Come on. A leader of an army and your name's fucking Grey Worm. A worm. Who said this memorable line? I am the wife of the great call. Okay, I don't even need to read that. That's just. And I carry a son inside me. Next time you raise a hand to me, it would be the last time you have hands. Damn. Damn. I mean, Jamie knows about that. <laughs> uh, if you watch the show, you know that. What is the name of the deadly disease that causes the surface of the skin to harden and calcify? Black Trump <laughs> virus? No. Geostigma? No, don't even know what that is. Lamping Lampington disease. Oh, I mean, I know what it is. So. People afflicted by this, by the disease, are often called stone men due to how it makes their skin hard and dead. Stone men are awful, often exiled from society to live in ruined cities in Essos, such as Old Valeria. Oh, it's, I guess the thing lives in Valeria. <laughs> I need to stop. What did Jorah, Danny, and... Who's Barristan? I don't know who that is. See along the Walk of Punishment. Unsullied as the train, the dragons eating, funeral process following the murder, white rat, murdered white rat's burial in the temple. So he's being punished. Punished. It's this, right? Yeah. All the other ones don't even make sense. The Walk of Punishment. Definitely not the dragons eating. By the way, there's dragons in this show. Just fucking dope. People ride them. Yeah. Who said this memorable line? When you play the game, when you play the game of Thrones, you win or you die. I'm pretty sure it was Tywin. I mean, I got the last name right. Cersei said that. When? I would like to know. Oh, there's hints. I should have clicked on the hint. What was the hint? Oh, there's a sponsor? No! Okay, yeah, fuck. Forget that. Okay, next question. What does Ramsey Bolton do to Theon Greyjoy? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask nicely. <laughs> baby sister. That's definitely... He doesn't even have a baby sister. Or does he? No, he doesn't have a baby sister. He has an older sister. Wait, is that it? No, that's not it. It'll load up again. Where does Peter Baelish grow up as a foster? Iron Islands? <laughs> I have no idea. Did they even say this in the show? Dude, I don't want to watch a freaking ad. Oh my, now you can hear the ad. No. 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 <laughs> Turn it off. Okay. Whatever. We'll watch this ad about... Uh, margaritas and oh it's about Hidden Valley Ranch whatever a river does not run through it Stormlands am I really that stupid did they actually just give me that as in the river does not run through it as in it's called river run I thought they meant like a river doesn't like the rip an actual river doesn't run through it so i was like oh river run no shit it has a river so it can't be that but i'm stupid next question don't don't judge me you said this memorable line and now i've struck a king did my hand fall from my wrist i mean i'm pretty sure that was jamie right or was it here oh what i guess that was maybe when he was talking to jamie Although there is no single hero in Game of Thrones, most called Tyrion, the main protagonist of the series, a dwarf, uses his wit and 
intellect, I almost said intelligence, to overcome the prejudice he faces. True, Tyrion is probably tied for my favorite character in the series. Uh, what is the profession of Daro Na la la la? Uh, pure brandy connoisseur? No. Sell sword? No. I uh, actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. It's not that, and it's not that. Easy. Was employed as a lieutenant in the Second Sons. He was held in high re enough regard by the company's co-captain Miro, and blah blah. blah. They allowed him to join them. In contact. Blah blah blah. Next question: Which of the following is not one of the Seven Kingdoms? Uh, Kingdom of the La, -la Mountain and the Vale. Yes, Kingdom of the Rock. Dorn is. I don't know what this one is. Yes. The realm actually consists of nine district, distinct regions, the remaining two being formally established after the War of Conquest. Blah, blah. Who married at the wed, wed, <sighs> red wedding? Jesus. Caitlin, Tully, and Eddard Stock. No. Robert Baratheon and Cersei Lannister. Oh yeah, first year. Lusley. No. Okay. Rosalind Fle Frey. She was a baddie. Not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. You, I want to cover that because I don't. Don't. If you haven't seen the show, do not look at that green part. It will spoil a lot. Red Wedding is a great episode. In a way, it's not very uplifting, but it's a good episode. Who said this memorable line? Any man who must say "I am king" is no true king. It had to have been Tywin, right? Thank you. Okay. That one's a good character, too. What is the meaning of Valor Mag Magohilis? The Valorian. <laughs> okay. All men must die. I'm pretty sure that's it. Do the best, be the best. Add some fucking stupid shit right there. When, where there's will, there's way. No, it's excessive. Okay, all that is stupid. I mean, if you don't know this one, I don't know what to say it. Who rescued Sansa and Theon as they fled through the forest of the north in the first season of season, first episode of season, season six, which is the new one, and uh, you gotta watch it. Let's um, cover that. Nope, can't see that. Next question. Don't look at the green. You haven't seen the show. What is pictured on the sigil of House Tyrell and Highgarden? I knew this because of one of the episodes where, what is her name, Marjorie wrote this on a napkin to her mom. She was manipulating them fools. She a bad bitch. Who said this memorable line? I am simply asking you to run my kingdom while I eat, drink, and whore myself into an early grave. I'm pretty sure Robert said that. I don't care what he's known for. What was... Okay, you're just gonna load right in front of you. That's cool. What was the name of the call of the Darthraki that Daenerys marries? See, I'm just letting you guys... I'm just upping you guys on the... On the names. You know, if you haven't seen it... Now when you go into it, you'll know some names. What does Bran Stark repeatedly dream of? Firewalls? No. No, 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 no. I mean... If I don't know that, I probably should uh, never watch the show again. Who first said this memorable line? The night is dark and full of terrors. Oh, Mel Sanders said that. I almost said Mance Raider, but for some reason, I remember him saying something like that. Why does Samuel Tal Tarly join the Night's Watch? It is punishment for stealing. He wouldn't steal a thing except for food because he's fat. That was mean. He volunteered out of selfish devotion to the protection of the realm. Hell no. He was an orphan. No. No, 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 no. Can I read this? Would it spoil anything? Sam's father, Randall Ty Tarly, was one of the most skilled military commanders in Westeros, and he hoped for a son who would carry on his leadership of House Tarly in battle, not an overweight, scholarly-minded son like Sam who has no thirst for violence. His father... I mean... Samuel did, you know, kill something that nobody killed. Nobody's really killed before. He's, you know, I wouldn't hate on him. And he's got a dope ass sword now. Not gonna. 
Don't want to spoil anything, though. How many knights make up the king's guard? All right, so we know we've seen more than two back up the king. We know there's not 21, because that's a lot. I don't think I've seen 14. I think seven would be a good number. They I don't think they ever really show or say how the exact number of how many, but pretty sure seven would be a good guess anyway. What is Shay's profession when she first meets Tyrion? Shay is a prostitute. Or a whore, or I don't know how what they call it in the show. Uh, so it's pretty easy. We need the bottom. Actually, it's not really that much of a spoiler to be honest. Who said this memorable line? You sound like a bloody woman. Definitely, Tywin said that. What? What? Oh. You said it to Jamie, really? Whatever. I don't remember that. What was the name of Jon Snow's direwolf? Come on, what am I, a noob? Direwolf. Wolf. How does Brienne of Tarth become member of Renly's King Guard? King's Guard. She kills each of the seven current members of the King's Guard. Uh, that would definitely not help. She blackmails the Lannisters. No, she wins the opportunity in a tournament. Pretty sure that's it. She's definitely not one to seduce anybody. Alright, next one. As the younger brother of Robert and older brother of Renly, who claims to have true ownership of the Iron Throne? Definitely be Stannis. Stannus. Who said this memorable line? My little bird. Okay, that's how it's gonna be. No. My little birds are everywhere, even in the north. They whisper to me the strangest stories. See, that's really easy because Drogo would never say that. Valish would probably be one to say that, but I know it's. I know it's my boy Varys. Where are Santa Stark and John finally? Okay, uh. Don't pay attention to that. If you haven't seen it. What is that? Jogging Hygar. Or Jahin Hygar. I don't know how to. I don't know how to. What's his name? But. That's a dope part of the series that I think is really dope how they put that in the series. It's really different. Uh, which of the following famously worships the Lord of Light? Well, I mean, she's messenger. Who said this memorable line? First lesson, stick them with the pointy end. I will always remember that line. Which of the following is not someone Marjorie marries? Joffrey, Tommen, Renly, Jorah. He hasn't been, she hasn't been. She doesn't even know who that is. In which territory is Mance Raider recognized as king? Beyond the Wall. Mance Raider is, uh... I got the actor's name, but... He's a familiar actor that I know. He's been in some things I've seen. Uh, who said this memorable line? Sometimes severity is the price we pay for greatness. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Why is that an answer? If anybody actually picks that answer, they haven't seen one episode of the show. Because I'm pretty sure from the first episode you'd know that he did not say that. Grey Worm, I'm pretty sure no. I'm going to go with Dav. No, I think I'm going to go with Marjorie. Yep. That's something she would say. Which of the following did not serve as... Who... Wait, which of the following wouldn't be who the... The following did not serve as Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. Alright, so. Just feed me the answer, darling, don't you? Man, this is actually longer than I thought. Which is the, which is the youngest child of Tywin Lannister? I don't even know who Joanna is, so. Uh, can I click on the answer? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's why they blame him, whatever. I mean, Jamie doesn't blame him. Jamie doesn't hold a grudge. Jamie's a real one. Stop loading like this. Holy. Where did Jon Snow and Egret first make love? In the caves of the natural hot springs. Where they, uh, got feisty. Who said this memorable line? You're very kind. Someday it will get you killed. 
What? I want to say it was Briant. It was the Hound? No, I should have known that. Traveling to Yuri to ransom Arya Stark to Lisa Stark. Lisa Stark. They take shelter with a farmer who offers them refuge. The next morning, Arya discovers that Sandor has robbed the farmer and is extremely angry, but the hound is problematic. It says the farmer will die by winter due to the lack of resources and protection. Dead people don't make money, and Arya needs to make needs to learn to make ugly decisions. As uh, you'll see, she may or may not later. Very kind someday will get you killed. I didn't know the hound actually said that. And that sounds more of a. Who do I answer that as? No, oh, whatever. How does Daenerys and Sir Jor warm up? He, he introduces himself at her wedding as someone that served her father. They grew up together in the North. No. With good friends with Dane's brother. The legendary. It has to be this one, right? What is Varys' nickname? I mean, they said that in uh, one of the answers when I answered it as him. They said, Lord Varys is known as the Spider. So, free question, if you pay attention. Who said this memorable line? Don't despair. I am a constant disappointment to my own father, and I've learned to live with it. That is probably the easiest one I've had so far. What is the nickname of Marjorie's handsome brother, Loras? Knight of Flowers. Let's see. Next question. Who ordered Nenar Stark to be behead? Uh. Okay, well. Didn't know this question would be in here. So, uh. If you haven't seen the show, I'm definitely going to put a disclaimer. Because. I mean. The, the four people that are going to watch this. But. I'm going to put a disclaimer. Because that's, uh definitely don't want that to be spoiled because if you haven't watched the show and you want to watch it definitely shouldn't watch this because that just showed a really important part I remember when my mom first watched it she didn't even expect that at all who said this memorable line I've won every battle but I'm losing this war the young wolf love Rob Stark who was arrested for the murder of Joffrey Z uh See, that shows another spoiler. Okay. Of these options, what's the youngest Stark child? If you don't get this right. Pretty sure you can actually watch one episode and know that because she's just like the smallest. 52 out of 60. Not bad. Not bad. Even though a lot of those were pretty damn easy questions. I'm definitely going to link the quiz down below for the two people that are going to watch this and... Maybe they want to take the quiz. But besides that, I may do a Star Wars one. So I'm going to put this out and maybe do another one some other time. Probably Star Wars one because I'm a huge Star Wars fan. And uh, yeah, peace.